Hey, what's up? I got this interesting problem that happened. Um, I have a Bosch uh, a 1617 um, router. That's the model number, 1617. And um, the power switch, I was working on something and um, I was turning the power on and off and it just, it just stopped working. And um, I'll show you what I mean. So, that does nothing. So, turn it on and off does nothing. And I'm not sure what happened, right? So, I looked on the internet for a little bit and I found out that people said that there's dust particulates that get in the um, inside of this uh, uh, power switch and it causes it to not um, connect anymore. So, I'm going to try to make a video today on how to clean that out and, and fix it because I have not seen any video that's just specific to clean out the the power switch on this Bosch router. All right. All right. The first thing I do, I had to remove this head right here to get to the power switch. Uh, look down inside of here. It looks like it has a, a, a. I don't really know what it is. It looks like it's like a. It's a five-sided um, something. I don't know. So I'm gonna use. Uh, I think. It, I think it's a t okay. I'm gonna use this T15 extension. So it's a T15. I'm gonna slide it in there. I'm just gonna turn it. Now that works. Yep. So it's like it's a T15. I don't think it's the right thing, but it's close enough because it's definitely turning and it's not slipping and it's not stripping. So I'm just gonna take that off. That's done. Okay, so both screws are uh, removed. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, so. Yeah, I've never seen screws like this before. I don't know if you can, you'll be able to see it or not. That's what it looks like. Is that any better? Um, hmm. Maybe that? I know. So that's what it looks like. It's got just five sides on there. Alright, cool. I'll try to take a photo of it for you. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Um, there's a slide right in here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it like that so it doesn't lose, I don't lose any screws. Okay, so here's the power switch right here. Um, wow, yeah, there's definitely, I'll show it to you. There's a lot of fine particular dust in here. See that? It's a lot, a lot, a lot of like fine dust. So, apparently what I can do is just blow it and then it should work. All right, let's give it a try. All right.
Alright, so it looks like the power switch has... Um, I'm going to try to bring this over to the camera a little bit closer. Alright, it looks like the... Um, the power switch itself has these little clips that hold on to it. So, to push it out, I'm going to have to squeeze the clips and, and go that way. Um, so... Think. Let me see. Yep, that's it. So that's it. You can see that it has these clips here, and it has uh, it has two. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this wire right here. And that's a good idea. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. That would just unscrew from there. Okay, oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't see why that should be an issue. Like so, let's get a little, bit, a little less tension on this here. Okay. So this is a wire that comes back. To here, right. and I think oh, it says a terminal right here. I think I can just pull that off the power switch itself. Did slide right off. Okay, great. So this is the power switch right here, and that's you can see that has a lot of dust on it, a lot of wood dust. Okay, so really, really fine wood dust. So I should be able to just clean that off. Let's give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna just scrape it off here. So this um, power switch, all right, I'm going to clean it off some more. Uh, one second. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, before I move on, I want to just show you the clip, the power switch itself. You can see it has those little clips, um, those clips on the side right here. So those are the things you have to push in to, to um, to get it off. Okay, it's those power, it's those right there. So this, I think I'm gonna clean this, try to clean this with some WD-40. All right, I don't know, let's see how this goes.
I could also probably use brake cleaner. Um, I don't know what's best for this, but uh, whatever. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so now that I have this off, um, I can tell you the part number on this thing. It says here, um, uh, T120-55, I don't know if that's actually the part number, but it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, 125 uh, VAC, 20 amps, one third horsepower, two hundred and fifty VAC, sixteen A, three fourths, three and three fourths uh, horsepower, and then it says here, um, yeah, that's the best I can do. I don't know what else to tell you about this. So on this side, it doesn't give me any more information. So I don't know what I, I don't really know what the part number is. I don't know if any of that stuff is of any use or will work for you. Okay, so now that's all done, right? Um, I'm gonna get to try to gonna clean this off right here, right? So. everything goes well, this should be fine. Um, what I'm going to do, before I actually put it in, I'm going to keep it apart so I can test it. So put that there, slide that back down. Oops. So, all right, so I'm going to put on my glasses. I'm just going to test this now, see if it actually turns on or not. Make sure the router bit. Okay, so here we go. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yep, okay, nothing. As you can see, it's not working. Um, couldn't tell you why it's not working, but I don't know if the switch itself has just failed. Um, I'll have to probably just buy a new switch and see if I can go from there. But this thing is not conducting anything. Um, I guess I can do a, a test light and check and see if it's complete in a circuit. Um, but whatever. I think it's this. I really do think it's that. All right. There you go. All right. So I can continue to clean it some more, right? And then I turn it on. That definitely works. I had a feel. I think I had a feeling that maybe this was on wrong. Let me see. Let's test it together. Okay. So see if this has an orientation that matters. Okay. All right. Looks like it works. I did push this down some more just to make sure it had a nice good connection. And um, I think that might have been the problem. I'm not sure that longer piece that I took out. Again, you can see it's all working now. So 
Well, let's just pull this part out again, right? Okay, see this part right here? I think this part was the problem. I don't think I seated it properly or not, or maybe the switch, I, I couldn't tell you, but I just got, I just know it started working again. So I'm gonna push it back down, make sure it's seated properly. Hold it really rigid at the top because you don't wanna bend the connector at the top. Let's test it again. All right, looks good. Uh, here's the challenger part. I gotta put it back together. So I'm gonna unplug it. All right, move this stuff out of the way here. Okay, pull this apart. to pull this out, right? um, slide it through like that, okay. This one here, I don't know, it's a little challenging to put that back on. Okay, so I got it. I got it through. Let's, let's see. I might need some needle nose pliers for this, but I'm not sure. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give you a lot of a lot of wire here to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to push it forwards like that. Okay, so that's in. Right. All right, so power button's in. This comes up and over right here. And oops, again, don't don't break the top of that. Make sure you hold it tightly and straight, push it straight down. Okay. This goes on top in this groove right here. Okay, seat it into that. Okay. Just checking all the wires, make sure everything's connected. Okay, let's see. Alright, I want to test it again before I clip before I shut it up. Put on your glasses. Move things out of the way. Turn. All right, that's perfect. So what I did, I, I just went ahead and cleaned off everything. I'm gonna unplug it again. And then I'm gonna just uh, spray some WD-40 on here and just wipe off all these things right here. Alright, so that does that. I'm going to take this here and put it back on top of... Oh, the joys of lining things up. So that's lined up. Again, this is a, a T15 I'm using to, uh, to tighten this up. I, 
I untied it by hand, so I don't, it didn't, doesn't really need a lot of torque to untighten it or tighten it. Just got to get it nice and snug. So that's that. If everything goes well, I should be able to turn it back on. Let's test it again. All right. That I hope that you liked that video on how to repair the power switch in your Bosch 1617 router. Um, again, it's a common problem with these routers that there's the, the, the dust particulates get inside of the power switch and causes it to not connect anymore. Um, if anything fails, I know that um, you can try to fix it the way I did. I showed it to you. Um, other than that, Bosch apparently does a really good job of their um, product support, so they'll actually, uh, you can send it to them, replace, they'll probably replace it for you and give you some upgrades on the, uh, on the bushings. And if you heard my router, you can, you can tell it the, uh, the bushings are also failing, so I need to also replace those things. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, below and uh, share with your friends. I hope that it uh, helps you. Um, again, if you want to help me help other people, uh, these videos take a lot of time to produce and uh, any assistance from you would be great. I have an Amazon wish list uh, that you can go ahead and um, take a look at and try to get me something that I need um, to help me make bigger and better projects and document them. Um, and, uh, you know, I believe in open source. I think it's a great way to help each other build and uh, refine whatever has been done before and uh, make new things. Uh, so, again, I'm Lex Peters from Motion Design um, Studio, and I hope that you are able to support me and I can support you in the way that I do by doing these uh, tutorial videos. All right, so thanks again and uh, have a good day and I hope to hear from you. Connect with me on facebook.com slash motion design studio and again I'm Lex Peters and Instagram motion design studio and YouTube motion design studio. Oh, I almost forgot. You know what I really need? A Palm Bosch router. If you feel so generous, send me a, pa a Palm Bosch router. I could really use that for a project. See you later.